Food waste is a symptom of what we're not quite getting right with our planet. One in nine people go hungry every day and we have food waste. You cannot have people go hungry and waste food. Food waste is a critical contributor to climate change. It's estimated that if we dealt with food waste, we'd reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by 10%, which is massive. We all know that we need to look after our beautiful planet much better than we have done. And one area where each and every one of us can make a real difference is cutting down on food waste. We want to do something to change that. We believe that changing mindsets and changing behaviour starts with education. 70% of food waste does happen in household kitchens. Every one of us has got a critical part to play in making sure that we think about food waste. Although we need adults to understand the message as well, young people are like sponges. They can take it and make it into something that can develop and can influence. His Royal Highness has long championed many sustainable causes and really what we do here at the Princess Foundation is put that into practice. We are ensuring that we are teaching future generations and giving communities the skills to actually create a much more sustainable planet. Education for us straddles a number of different areas and we're an interdisciplinary learning provider. So we look at the STEM subjects being embedded in food education. We believe that educating young people about the food system and getting them to understand some of the issues will make them better equipped to take action and make a real difference. When we go shopping these days, the aisles in the supermarket are full of perfect produce, but when you grow it, that isn't the case. We want apples, perfect condition all year round. We want strawberries all year round, and that's not natural. The supermarkets are the largest consumers of British agriculture. They could stock more food that has a longer shelf life. They could change the way they buy food, not be so stringent in terms of what food looks like. But the good news is, is we can change it. We need to be the driving force. We need to dictate what happens and we need to stop this waste. No one ever sets out to throw good food in the bin. Food waste happens as an unintended outcome of people lacking the time or energy to cook after a busy day at work, or not having the confidence or skills to bring together the ingredients they have into a meal. With simple changes, like adopting a weekly use-up day, where you make a meal out of the ingredients that you already have on hand, can help reduce household food waste by up to one third. What we can do here is demonstrate good modelling so that others can copy and learn from what we've been doing. So we're happy to share our teachings and our learnings with wider organisations, with other school groups. And in an ideal scenario, we would love some more schools to do something like what we are doing here around food education, have school gardens, have school farms, embed those growing sustainability principles into every lesson. They now have a greater appreciation for food and its whereabouts and what actually happens to it. It's up to them now to pass this information on. 15,000 people take part in an experience that the Princess Foundation delivers for education. Around food education alone, we have between four and 5,000 learners a year, most of whom are between age five and 14. And that's the age we want to reach to be able to make the most impact. Food is just too precious to be wasted. So let's help people to be more resourceful with the food so that we all can waste a lot less. It's so massively important to the future of the planet and not just engaging our young people, but as I say, to entire communities, industry, is so important to make that happen. Simple changes to the way we prepare our food can make a tangible difference. When cooks, caterers, teachers and pupils work together, they can create food environments that are healthy and reduce food waste. We can change it and it's going to be exciting doing that. And I think the fun thing is getting people involved, getting schools involved, getting children involved. We're going to want to like start like our own garden and we have to start somewhere. Maybe not put like much in your plate, it's like you're not going to eat. I'm going to try and not waste as much, especially if it was an animal. The Princess Foundation is setting out to realise His Royal Highness's vision of creating communities that allow us to build a much more sustainable planet.
Meaningful change cannot happen without education and the Prince's Foundation is already doing some amazing work but we cannot do this alone.